G'day Capricorn, welcome back to TJ Terra Down Under. Can do the love energy coming towards you as that now? Let's go. Give me three cards to start with for the love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. And while I'm getting the cards out, I'll do my little spiel that everyone should apply to all the tarot readers that you watch on YouTube that aren't a personal private reading. So this is a general reading. So take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Okay. Clarify card one, please. Cross watches. This could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's. So please do keep that in mind. You may not be the only one thinking about Capricorn right now. Clarify card two, please. All my decks are pre-shuffled and I'll list them below in the description box in the order that I'm using them in case you're interested in what these decks are. Clarify card three, please. And I hope you're all doing well, taking care of yourselves, having a good day, a good week, and a good weekend. Three more for the love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. Got them. I like it when they come out quickly. Oop. <laughs> I already flipped it over. <laughs> oh dear. Clarify card one in row two, please. And I hope you're remembering to spoil yourself with something nice. Taking care of yourselves. And treat yourself. You deserve it, Capricorn. You're awesome. Clarify card two in row two, please. Clarify card three in row two, please. Oh, wow, those cards got really heavy then at the end. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, wow, just really heavy. Heavy energy, Capricorn, what's going on? Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in their love life right now. So they're not feeling very stable. Yeah, not feeling very stable right now. Not stable enough to... I'll put those back up later. Yeah. Ooh, Justice card. Ooh, Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Wands. Yeah. They could be going through some sort of legal issues, financial issues, trying to get themselves balanced so they can have a Ten of Cups love with you, but right now they've just got way too much on their plate with this financial issue, with their stability. They're trying to get balance it out. They would love to have Ten of Cups love with you, long-term love. But it's just, they've just got too much on their plate right now. The love's not a burden. They've just got too many other things that are burdens. That It's just not the right time for them. They've got to get that sorted first. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Oh, three of pentacles. Yep. And the six of coins. Yeah. They, they'll start working on something straight away to, you know, make the effort, take the steps. I think they're already, you know, they've... Okay. So they've already worked something out on what they're going to do. Well, it's all planned anyway. But they can't start working on it until they're balanced. 
can they balance out this situation? Yeah. They'll begin working on making those efforts as soon as, they, as soon as they balance out that situation. And like I said, the plan on the table is really standing out to me here. So that's it's all planned. As soon as this thing is sorted out with their finances, that, yeah, they've got all these things in the works of how they're going to show you how they feel about you. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And the death card. Okay, so I'm hearing two things. They're wanting to get to reveal their innermost selves to you and deepen the bonds, transform this into that Ten of Cups. But also, I'm really hoping that um, you're not getting to know other people and building bonds with them. They're hoping that's, that ends. <laughs> That, yeah, once they start making an effort, you end, yeah, end your search <laughs> for love. <laughs> that you just concentrate on them and you're not still, you know, oh, I might go and date this other person and this other person, yeah, I'm not really sure. And, yeah, they're hoping they'll put an end to you and going out and getting to know people to date. Yeah. <laughs> but they want to really, yeah, get to know you. Ooh, hostilities. Ooh, dear. Queen of Swords and the Hermit. Okay, hostilities. They're hoping that you, you don't go grow cold towards them because they are sort of ghosting right now um, in a way I mean they're doing that self work here so they can come correctly towards you but they're hoping that you don't go cold and feel that they're being hostile towards you because they have done a disappearing act to focus on those finances and stuff Yeah, they're not being, yeah, they're not, like, rejecting or anything like that or being hostile. They want to come correctly here, but they've got to work on themselves first. There could be hostilities with this financial issue as well. So they might seem a little bit cold and distant here. But it's nothing to do with you, um, Capricorn. Sorry, I saw the Hermit and thought Virgo. It makes me think of Scorpio. Anyway, um, Capricorn, it's not anything to do with you. This is that issue that they're dealing with. Happy family, Ten of Cups again. Wow. And the King of Wands. Yep. Totally in control of their actions and passions. Um, maturity. I have a lot of passion for you. Very lot of passion for you. I'm very passionate about wanting this happy, beautiful, loving connection with you. But they need to be able to control their actions in control of themselves and their passions and actions because I think a lot of their I think they're very burdened like that ten of wands is a lot of burden very heavy energy it's very heavy energy And I think they're feeling a bit out of control here. Trying to balance this situation. Yeah. So once they feel that they're... 
They're in control of themselves. The passion will come back in their life very passionately, but maturely, not, you know, they will um, invest in this connection, this happy connection they want with you. Ooh, very good. Very passionate about it. Very serious about it too. Okay. Angel of Love. Oh, that's beautiful. The Angel of Love. We have the Star Card. <laughs> that's what they're wishing for. The Emperor. Wow. Two major arcana so far. The World Card. Woo. Another major arcana. And the, wow, the Ace of Cups. Okay. Angel of Love. Yeah, so they've got some healing to do. That financial situation, they're wishing that it would be over. But, and I'm feeling that you are this star. Even that, because this is meant to be Pandora's box. So you open it, but all these bugs and insects and night creatures come out of it. All these, you know, annoying bugs. But it also releases the star. So as much as it releases all this bad, nothing against dragonflies or moths or anything like that, but... It also releases the beautiful star. So this is the thing that, you know, you are, they're looking to this star, which is you, amongst all this chaos, which is this, situ this situation. You are the star that they're looking at here. And I think once this, you know, the situation, they feel they're back in control again, total control of their own life. And this old cycle has closed out of that financial situation. They will come in and offer you love. And hoping that this angel of love does shine down on them when they come to offer this love. But yeah, you're, you're the light amongst the chaos. You're the wish... And the he it's healing as well, so healing that situation, being back in control of themselves, closing out that old cycle, so they can come and have a, a, offer you that beautiful cup of love they have. Wow! So it's so got. Please contact me. So they want to still keep talking to you because you are that shining light. It's not like they want you to. Just, oh, well, I better not talk to them because they've got all this stuff on their plate. No, no, no. They still want to stay in contact, but they just can't make a big effort right now or offer you a connection just yet. But I think um, just you having that casual conversation of getting to know each other and so forth, when, when you know... Don't block communication with them anyway. Don't stop communicating with them just because of this. All right, what would this love energy like to say to Capricorn, please? Yeah, but they just can't make moves and, um, you know, move forward to anything full on yet. Yeah, see, I'm not ready to be with you yet. They're just not ready. <laughs> Thank you. I love it when the cards do that. Just not ready yet. Almost, but not yet. And your energy heals me, and that explains that why they still want you to keep in contact with them. Because your energy is keeping helping them to stay strong through this situation. Like I said, you're that guiding light through all this darkness that they're going through. This heavy... Like I said, the deck's got the deck's got so heavy at the end there, struggling to hold them in my hands. It's so heavy, so they're dealing with a lot of heavy energy, um, and yours is that bright light shining, beautiful energy that is helping them get through this. So, just because they're not ready yet, doesn't mean they want you to go away. 
Yeah. But this is what they're working on right now, and that's why they're not giving you their full attention. But it doesn't mean they're not interested at all. Okay? Yeah, and I think with these hostilities, they, they want to keep you away from that. They've you know, got their sword up protecting you and keeping you out of it, keeping you separate from it. Dealing with it on their own, you're giving them that strength because they don't want to, you know, you don't want to start a situ start a relationship when you've got other issues that you're trying to deal with at the same time. But it doesn't mean you lose contact with that person. You just got to deal with that issue first. But knowing that that, sorry, knowing that that sweet energy is there, that beautiful love energy or possibility of love energy is there helps to keep you strong and get you through all of that so but yeah it's not going to move forward yet not yet they're not ready yet but yeah it's coming it's coming it's beautiful just be a bit patient yay all right that you're reading Capricorn don't forget to like share subscribe all that good stuff leave a nice comment below that would be awesome and thank you all so much for watching I appreciate every single one of you thank you thank you thank you okay well all the best take care good luck and I'll catch you next week